In order to use Sauce Connect, most users will have to go to the Sauce Labs app and download the Sauce Connect software onto their computer. If you go to the Sauce Labs app, then the Tunnels tab, you can find the latest version of Sauce Connect and download it. Once it's downloaded, move it out of your Downloads folder, for example in your Documents folder, and extract the contents of the file. Once you have it on your machine, use your terminal to navigate into the Sauce Connect folder. It is generally best to use the latest version of Sauce Connect. Then you can go back to the Sauce Labs app and copy the command at the bottom of the Tunnels page. Notice that it has the name of the tunnel ID. In the Sauce Connect folder, paste this command to start your tunnel. You can change the name of the tunnel by changing what's after the I flag. The other parts of this command include navigating to the bin folder where Sauce Connect is, as well as your username and access key. Once you run the command, you should see console input letting you know that the Sauce Connect proxy is up and running. If you switch to the Sauce Labs dashboard on the Tunnels tab, you should see information about your tunnel, such as the tunnel name and the tunnel VM host name. You can also see information such as the owner of this tunnel and have the option to stop the tunnel. Since it can be a complex process to set up a proxy that works behind your firewall, many organizations set up shared or parent tunnels that several people in an organization can use. You can check under the Tunnels tab to see if there's a shared tunnel. If you look at the tunnel name, you'll see a yes under the sharing column. To use a shared tunnel, all you have to do is use the tunnel name and set it in your configuration file or in the capabilities for your test. To learn more about Sauce Connect, you can visit Sauce Labs documentation.